Tonight in this valley, there's a vibe. I can be white noise hovering around the Nittany Lions, telling them this game can define their season. The Buckeyes are what the buzz is about, unbeaten in what was supposed to be a rebuilding year. The BCS number one, top ranked with national title at the top of their to-do list. But the sense around here is that they're ready to be taken. Just the feeling in Happy Valley that fate is ready to smile on Joe Pa's team. Ohio State, Penn State in prime time tonight. where Ohio State is determined to show you they are a worthy number one. And Penn State is out to prove otherwise. It's Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. And folks, welcome to the mother of all whiteouts. This worked a couple years ago for Penn State against Ohio State. But tonight... Footed Kelly gets us underway. Here's Maurice Wells back at the goal line coming out for the Buckeyes. Down at about the 22 yard line, Chris B. Wells. Size, speed, coaches say he blocks well, gets the first call of the game, and for a couple of yards. And then this year's quarterback is Todd Beckman. He throws the ball to the two Bryants, Hartline and Robisky. The tailback this year is Chris Beanie Wells, who is backed up by two Outland Trophy candidates, Alex Boone and team captain Kirk Ball. Second down and eight for the Bucks. First pass of the game, wide open in the middle. And it's Robisky. And they go right out after that left corner. Now the quick pass on the other side to Hartline. Robisky and Hartline, two of the better. He and number 80, Robisky, two very talented wide receivers. Beanie Wells gets the first and 10 against the middle. The board first and deflate. This Absolutely. Drive. This drive is important. Beckman's in the gun. Gets a great block by the left side of the line and throws it away. Second down and 10. Play signal in from Jim Trussell's sideline. He's on the near side with the Buckeyes. From under center, pocket holds up beautifully, but well short to Robisky. Here's the third down. That base 4-3 look from the Nittany Lions. Incomplete and batted away, and Sean Lee. So here comes the long field goal. A 50-yard attempt for Pretorius with the wind at his back. Buckeyes trying to get on the board. Looks long enough. Three nothing on a 50 yarder. Ryan Praetorius lifts the Buckeyes to a three point lead. Oh, the kicking game. Joe Paul knows how important that'll be here tonight. Let's see what happens. It's going to be returning. Scooped up on one hop at the nine yard line. And out to the 22 yard line. A couple of weeks ago, Austin Scott was suspended. So Kinlaw and Evan Royster are now the tailbacks. Short drop. Here's Williams with his first reception. On offense, it all starts with senior quarterback Anthony, the Don of Distribution Morelli. He'll be getting the ball to a very talented wide receiver group, including Derek Williams. At running back, look for a young but exciting Rodney Kinlaw. And anchoring the offensive line, veteran center A.Q. Shipley. As Keith Jackson would say, he's a good one. <laughs> he said that a few times about you, John. <laughs> good one. And there's Morelli. Snaps it off. First down, Jordan Norwood. This very outstanding defense. Only four offensive touchdowns in eight games against this group, folks. 
That's remarkable. And you can see how well that is defended. Correct myself, that was Williams on that far side. He's made two catches here tonight. Here's Kinlaw for the first time. Short of the first and ten. On the D-line this year, junior Vernon Golston leads the Buckeyes front four. For the linebackers, all three are great, especially 2007 Buckets and Lombardi Awards semifinalist James Laurinaitis. To lead the Buckeye secondary is another great Ohio State cornerback in Malcolm Jenkins. Big in here against a third and two. Ken Law first down breaks past midfield into the secondary to the 34 yard line. Andrew Corliss, number 10, remember his number. He was in blocking, helped lead that play. Good play fake by Morelli. Looks downfield, got a man open. A very big first and goal this entire series. The Nittany Lions seeing if they can finish lob incomplete. Emotional standpoint, they need six. Ken Law battles. They're in ISO territory. Here comes Ken Law. Touchdown, Penn State. Behind the left side, Ornberger and Kudogan. for a touchdown. Here's Kelly. Now that's impressive. And the wideout is alive and well. It could be a long night in the office for the number one team in the country. We'll see you when we come back. Small and Maurice Wells back deep. Kelly to kick it off against this wind. It should be returnable and a great leg. Having said that, he booms it to the end zone. To run behind the power side of the formation. Chuck Jayhawk. Who would have thought we'd be saying that during a football season? Mark Mangino doing a heck of a job there. Second down and four. Beanie muscling toward that first down. Deontay Johnson is the lead fullback. It could be ISO time for the Bucks instead. Beckman, who is 6'5, and they practice the silent count in Columbus all week. They'll go on the ball being snapped. Beckman get it to Aaron out deep here. Small got it. Just as you said, Kirk, he's going to wait for his chances. Great teams answer and respond when they're on the ropes. Let's see what Ohio State does here. From the shotgun. And before the snap. False start. False start. Number There's the first offense. one. That's the running back. Beanie Wells. Simply go to the left hand like you see right here. And he will snap it perfectly. It's been remarkable the last few weeks for the Buckeyes. Beckman takes off. Goodbye. <laughs> Second down now. Beckman's got protection. Fires in zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Terry Robisky. And King says, wait a minute, what's happening here again? Well, uh, up. No, no, no. This son of a oh, absolutely. Way to go for it, huh? Oh, yeah. Learn from the best, right? And his daddy, who still coaches in the NFL, talks to Terry every week. And what a receiver he's become. You're watching ESPN on ABC. After Penn State went the length of the field, got a touchdown for Ohio State. The answer, and they did a good job. To Paso. And Williams deep in the end zone, coming out of the 20. That might add. First down and 10 now. Let's see if Morelli and the offense can answer again. Here comes Kim Law finding gaps. You know, the, the senior John Shaw was able to start tonight at right guard. There was an injury at that position, and he's been doing a terrific job over there. There's a penalty flight down on this plate. Illegal formation. Offense. Only six men on the line. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. A top front runner for the yeah, Heisman yeah. Trophy. He's in there now. Second down and 11 now. And here's Morelli handing off again. Kinlaw, huge hole in the middle. First and 10, and you're left wondering where, oh, where is number 33? That's only 14 yards. Yep. Galen Hall doing a heck of a job of calling plays. And a play fake is beautiful. But Morelli couldn't find anybody wide open. But what a play fake. He hooks it for the first down. Fumble at the end of it. Loose ball. Recover it. Oh, a great save. He said that. 
that time. Morelli there. And then the Bucks didn't close down on that side of the defense. Morelli comes back, fires incomplete. The bad second down. With Morelli and Kinlaw not going any place this time. Marcus Freeman. Absolutely. They're down at 12. From the gun, Morelli in a foot race. Golston coming from behind. There is Vernon Golston, the junior from Detroit. So Jeremy Boone punting for the first time for the Nittany Lions. And drops it inside the five. It'll be down at the seven yard line. For the field goal and then the long pass that set up the touchdown. They've got Whaley in at fullback. He leads the way for Beanie this time. You see that base 4 3, the familiar look. Draw play, Beanie Wells. Tried to get the corner and was. Two very young teams. Well, here's third and four. Beckman it hits more for the first down as the first quarter comes to an end. And there it is, the Buckeyes lead at 10 7. Saturday night football presented by Southwest Airlines will return after this message and a word from our ABC station. You can recognize him with that. Here do it is as he picks up the rush man and Beckman picked up a couple three yards. Has 45 of their 60 rush yards. On the other side, there was movement down in the trench. And Maurice right in front of the line and looking down a little bit now. Beckman steps up first and 10. Rory Nickel. Deep drop. Beckman going to air it out small again. Incomplete. And uh, Tom Bradley, the defensive coordinator, said that Beckman throws the best deep ball that they've looked at. They come back with a draw play, and uh, Mo Wells. Third and one, they show ISO. And here it comes. First and ten for the Buckeyes. And now Brandon Sane has also checked in. He's a fine receiver. Beanie breaks for nine yards. Up. Back here, Matt. Second down and short. Beanie picks up another first and ten. They said that Sane has been moving around very well as a receiver. You see, he is over there to the right. He danced through the formation. He actually was a lead blocker for V on that play. And there's Robisky again, just shy of the tenure for number 80. Buckeyes threatening to put another one on the board. Incomplete. But I said possible. But I am very impressed with what I see with this team. This could be a great running back, Beanie Wells. Toss play. Beanie picks his daylight. Touchdown, but a penalty flag. We know hand signal this time. Holding. Beckman was over with Russell. 74, offense. 10 yards, previous spot. Third down. So the penalty brings it back, makes it third down and 14. Maurice Wells is the tailback. Beckman play action, throws Hartline. Hartline's got field ahead of him. Touchdown, Ohio State. He got in behind big Alex Boone. And Alex, the junior from Lakewood, Ohio. Seen all three of the receivers tonight make plays. They tack on the extra point. So Praetorius makes it 17-7. And folks, this is a real quiet whiteout. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Williams and Wallace are back deep. Paso. Here comes Williams. And he is down at the 22. And here are the Nittany Lions. Anthony Morelli under center has Evan Royster on the field for the first time tonight. They fake Morelli got to see if he can answer. Throws short and underneath to Norwood. And Norwood dies for the first down. Nice crazy throwing it downfield too much. First down and 10. And they let Royster carry it for the first time tonight. And Laronitis. And now it has spread up here to Happy Valley, and here's the second and ten for Paterno's offense. Morelli again with a neat fake. Williams is bumped out, but the uh, love football, so he went to work for Rick for 3,600 a year, and the rest is history, folks. Incomplete. Under pressure. 
He might have got a piece of it because there's no penalty flag. The crowd is unhappy. Towards Following the play. Dead ball. Personal foul. Late hit, number six. Half the distance to the goal. First down. First down in 10. Now Beckman's been very impressive here tonight. Beanie Wells stopped at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the linebacker blitz. Successful, too, I might add. Linebacker stuffed it up on that side. He is in front of Wells. Here he comes. Penn State may be ready for it. Beckman's back. Fires middle. Cut. Here is Hartline working across from the other side. Tressel said that Beanie Wells will really pass block, and he did that time. Now Beckman's in trouble. Throw back to the screen. Read well by the Nittany Lions that time. Josh Hull is now one of the three linebackers. You can see pressure from Lee. Beckman gets it off on the slam. Hartline slipped trying to cut back. And in this hostile environment. Kirk, he's 11-15. 190 yards here tonight. There is the first down. Beanie Wells and Lee wrestles him down. He looks very, very polished right now. He's in a lot more formations tonight than they did that night also. Here is Beckman. And you, but you, you, holding offense, number 63. 10 yards previous spot. Still first down. See what they can do with uh, first and 20. See about how they can get another first down. Intercepted. His first bad throw of the night. Picked off by Dan Connor. One of the semifinalists for the Buckus Award. And Mr. Connor gives the Nittany Lions a life. And that's why he's an All-American candidate right here, folks. Well, Penn State needed a, a player to make a play to get the crowd back in and to get the emotion back in. And he was squeezed, pinch, double team, get elsewhere, throw it away, live to fight another day. Royster back in, so it's nice to see. Passing Paul puts Leslie. Second down and five. And Royster for the first and ten. And uh, Puzzlesny has now moved on to the NFL along with Connor. Man, what a linebacking duo they were. And now Lee is here. Short drop complete on the snap outside. Kind of down toward that three-minute mark here. So this is a big drive for Penn State's morale. Royster not doing much against that defensive front. Nice yeah. football player. Here's your third down now for the Nittany Lions. Morelli throws underneath, and what a great defensive play by Kurt Coleman. His confidence in his defense still to try to stop Todd Beckman and get the ball back. Okay. Boone drops another one, but it rolls to the end zone. Could have been stopped inside the five. Signed up for his first organized football. First down and ten. Wells slashes to the 24-yard line. Very conservative, got the first down, moved the chain. Joe's looking for one of his guys to make another pick. Oh, Tressel is going to look long. Beckman throwing incomplete. But uh, Charles and the Horns pull it out. Second down and 10. And Maurice Wells on the draw, and it is red perfect. Now, just run the clock out and be very happy with a 10-point lead on the road. Big interception for Dan Connor. Yes, kept his team into this football game. Absolutely. Gave him some life and kept the crowd in, hoping that they, they can get back in the game. But can Anthony Morelli and the Nittany Lions respond with a little offense in the second half as they trail the Buckeyes? 17-7, so... Williams driven. He's going to bring it out. Stop well short of the 20 yard line. Rodney Kinlaw back on as the running back. Rodney gets the first carry of the second half and a tough one yard. In this second half and find some easy targets early to get that rhythm going again. 7 of 11, and there is number one. Well, one thing we should point out, Lisa, looking at Joe, the wind has picked up as Morelli goes straight ahead. He's off to the right side of the formation as a wide out. There's Morelli rolling on that side. And there is the first down pass. And Morelli has thrown for 90 yards as opposed to Beckman's 189. Moving the chains now. Morelli in underneath. My man bounces back 48 hours, ready to play ball. 
Doesn't like drugs. Second <laughs> and eight as Kinlaw. They're down in three. Morelli. And nothing doing on that one. Holding number 10. Penalties decline. Fourth down. It's at about the 41 yard line. Hangs a beautiful punt. High, fair catch is signaled at the 13 yard line. Beckman and the Buckeyes. Beanie Wells is set behind the fullback. He'll open up the second half with a four yard run. Let's hey, come on. Second down and six now. Here's Beckman. Did not get the first and ten. Brandon Sane is also in the backfield now. Under pressure. Oh, snaps it off for a first down. <laughs> I don't think they didn't they lose again today? They did, they did. You're right. First down. <laughs> That's a deep arm. Oh, no doubt about that. He's a young one. And here comes Beanie muscling his way close to midfield. Here's Maurice Wells in at tailback for Coach Kressel. Breaks free for a first down. Crosses the 35 yard line. They call his number again. Picks up about four yards. Up. Penn State shows blitz. And Wells passed the first wave. Enough to be able to have success on the ground, too. Beanie Wells back in at tailback. Gets the call behind Johnson. Dope for the first down. I don't think he got it. Crowd's hanging tough. Beckman over the top for the first down. Protects the football and gets the first. Here comes a blitz. They can't get there. Got one on one. Robisky out of bounds at the one yard line. When his body hits, here, the ball looks like it starts to come out. And I don't know if they're going to look at that part of it. Or if they're just looking at it. Following the review, the play has been overturned. The player was not in control of the ball. Bottled the ball. Incomplete pass. Second down. They felt there was enough evidence. Second and ten. Beckman goes back to work. In underneath. And Wells the tailback. Beanie's right behind him. Play fake. They're going to throw it for the end zone. Touchdown! The Buckeyes strike. Jake Ballard, the sophomore who caught a touchdown pass a week ago, breaks open on a play action. Pretorius uh, adds the extra point, Kirk. And uh, as you asked me that, Beckman is 15 of 22, 220 yards on the night. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Paso, the punter, bangs one into the end zone. A late gamble to come out. It pays off as Wallace. Kinlaw into the backfield, but now it's got to be Aaron Morelli if Penn State expects to get back into this. Dumping into the fullback, Dan Lawler. Their touchdown came on the ground with Kinlaw. They run the end around. Williams with great speed. Off the fake, here is the toss to Kinlaw. Kinlaw, a tough eight-yard run. He said he wanted to make a mark on a program and help grow as a man. He's been very happy so far. Morelli not going to get the first down. Third and four. First down, Kinlaw breaks him to the open and is ridden down, but he's in the red zone at the 18. Shake him. Now first down in the red zone. Kinlaw got back to the, the Buckeyes with that impressive offense. Morelli, complete. Norwood. And I checked that Kinlaw still in the game, and he is Morelli back in the gun on the second down. 
incomplete. He threw a little bit behind. Let's see where they go with this third down pass. Buckeyes are blitzing it. And he has to throw her in the incomplete. 27 yard field goal attempt by Kevin Kelly. They still make it a two touchdown difference as Kelly nails the field goal. 24 to 10. Buckeyes lead it by 14. 127 to go in the third quarter when we come back. Ball was a little bit overthrown down there when they were coming back and this uh, kickoff Wells will field it at the goal line. This is Maurice Wells to the 22 yard line. No the Red Sox are uh, timid business that might wind up in four. And up to Chris Wells. And the defense of Penn State has got to make a play to get them back the football. Curtis snaps the ball to Beckman, who hits Hartline for a first down with Connor. In between the linebackers. Toss play. And Beanie trying to get outside. First down for the Buckeyes. Well, we got a two touchdown game headed to the fourth. And ESPN Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines returns after this message and a word from our ABC station. And uh, I ask you folks out there, do they look like the kind of team you thought you'd see here tonight? Those of you who are not familiar. They're making, I think, a very strong statement on both sides of the ball. Here's Beckman. There's that touch. Umpire did a good job of getting out of the way on this. It's all hand gestures and watching the football makes it Absolutely. that much tougher. Throwing for another first down. And uh, Iowa State is doing the same thing, dumping underneath. Wouldn't be shocked to see them take a shot eventually down the field. Comes a linebacker blitz. Stepping inside, there's Beanie Wells for eight more yards. Exactly, Lisson. Uh, second down. And again they go. Beanie breaks open. And he's inside the 15 yard line. It has that blend of speed and power. Little draw play, but the, uh, the Nittany Lions jumped that play. But, but they're in the comfort zone. Yes, they are. Yeah, the shoe. Here comes the blitz. Beckman hit from behind on the blitz. Back to the tight end's going to pick him up. Third down and 18. Here's the toss to him. Dan Connor rides him down. Joe Pretorius kicked a 50 yarder, if you weren't with us earlier. This uh, into the breeze, a 37 yarder. Man, nailed it, didn't he? Kicking game is sound. I don't know. They look like a contender for number one to me tonight, folks. Dr. Jerry Punch. Yeah, Doc was good. Job too. He's on top of it. He and Rusty and the gang. Looking forward to seeing them tomorrow. On into the end zone. And it'll come out in the 20-yard line. They got a shot to run the table until they get to Missouri in a huge game. It'll decide the north. Let's see what Morelli and the uh, Nittany Lions can do now for long ball incomplete in the uh, second down and 10. Bad throw for a pick and it's a pick six. Just what happened to Morelli twice in Columbus last year and Malcolm Jenkins the great corner makes it lights out. This whiteout has suddenly become a blockout, folks. Two in two years for Malcolm Jenkins. Somebody get me Don Meredith on the telephone. I can't sing. Wow, you talk about turning out the lights. Jenkins, woof, big time. 80 years old. Over there and still coaching this football team, and uh, it's become a, a long night. We'll step in now, Daryl Clark. Daryl Clark, a little more mobile than Morelli, and uh, after that interception, the coaches said we've seen enough. Drop, <laughs> wanting to work next. <laughs> Let week. go, baby. And we're not go. on the Comedy Channel tonight, but he drops it off now to Kinlaw, and uh, yeah, that, those goals. Matt Ryan and all that bunch, right? We'll see what happens. 
complete. And uh, Corliss came back in bounds and they can fly. There's Kim He's Long. Down, down. And it's 10 0. All right, Matt. And uh, that's Darryl Williams Clark's picking up. I'm, uh, check that. That's Dion Butler, number three, uh, for what would be their ninth straight victory, unbeaten in the Big Ten. A couple of home games, and then the Downey Brook with Michigan. Ripped out of bounds at the uh, 40. So here it is. Ball's there. live. Call that a live ball. Let's take a look at this. He is, took uh, a couple steps. Did right? he catch the ball? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what. He almost took three steps. The crazy thing is everybody stops. The coaches want to pick the ball up themselves. It's six inches you know, in front of them. You know. He confirms the call on the field. First down, Ohio State. Here we go. Wells is uh, Oregon because they're really good. That was a big win today for them against USC. And here's Maurice Wells. He's but written down by Lou. I think Ohio State will be at one. It's Meredith, Catherine, Brian, and the dog Mac. Can't overlook Mac. So there is a uh, first down for the Buckeyes. And the season ended against Florida. And you, you got to believe that that fire burning inside them. And, uh, Bob Packard was a very dear friend of uh, the Trussell family. And so here now on second down. Multiple doubters throughout the whole country. No, I'm just not believing this, team. especially yeah. in the SEC part of the world. Yep. I mean, I, I, I am. You know what? I can understand that. Yep. Uh, I, I don't have any quarrel with those people. No, yeah. yes. And here's the 35 yarder. Praetorius uh, had a 50 yarder to start a night. This would give him three for three as he uh, rips that one through and. Uh, 37 to 10. Jim Trussell and the uh, and the Buckeyes. Are the fans that travel with the team very, very Somebody. vocal and loyal. And uh, Wallace going to try another one. Cuts the daylight. 40. Mid four. 30. Breaking for the end zone. As he goes 97 yards with the kickoff. The young man, though. Kelly adds the extra point. We'll take a break as the Buckeyes are going to win their 19th straight Big Ten game here tonight. And he was out there battling away, and he said it's such a lonely feeling, and without the neighbors around, he said, "I'm very happy that our home was saved." Number of targets throughout this game for Todd Beckman. So Maurice Wells written down by Lee on the Colorado Rockies and uh, they'll have all the latest on that. Here's Maurice Wells a couple yards short of the first down mark. You're placing Heisman Trophy winner a couple first round picks a lot of weapons off this team and they've just picked up the pieces and continued forward with that has bedazzled more than just Jim Trussell and the Buckeyes that night. But he had two defensive ends who got upfield in a hurry. And they really took Troy's. Yeah, they were much too great in that regard for in that game. I would certainly agree with that. Well, here are Chevrolet players of the game. And uh, in recognition of their effort, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each University General Scholarship Fund. Todd Beckman, growing up as a quarterback, threw for 253 yards, three touchdowns, and that one interception. And Dan Connors. Well, a reminder, folks, that NASCAR is on the air on ABC at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And we'll come back to wrap this game up in just a moment.